Hi, I'm Cosimo Prantera, I'm a gastroenterologist in Rome. Many experimental and clinical data support the hypothesis that the commensal intestinal flora plays a key role in the development of Crohn's disease. However, the results obtained in previous trials by systemic antibiotics are given contradictory results. Rifaximin EIR is an oral, minimally absorbed antibiotic prepared for releasing the microgranules in the intestinal tract. In a previous control trial, we have previously shown that rifaxim 800 mg given twice a daily for three months was significantly superior to placebo in patients with moderate Crohn disease and an elevated level of C-reactive protein. This study has been a multi-center, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial conducted at 55 centers across France, Germany, Hungary, Israel, Italy, Poland, and Russia between September 2007 and September 2009. We have enrolled 400 to patients with a CDI score of 220 to 400 points three doses of rifaximin, 400, 800, and 1,200 milligrams or placebo were given orally twice a day for 12 weeks. Patient in remission were followed for a further 12 weeks. Significantly more patients in the 800 milligram group achieved the primary endpoint of clinical remission, a CDI less than 150, at weeks 12 than patients on placebo. And during the follow-up period, clinical remission was maintained in higher number of patients treated by rifaximin, 800 milligrams, in comparison to placebo. A significantly higher proportion of patients on rifaximin, 1,200 milligrams, discontinued the treatment because of side effects. And we have registered one case of Clostridium difficile infection in patients on rifaximin, 800 milligrams. Clostridium difficile is a particular concern in patients with Crohn's disease. Although rifaxin is successfully used for the treatment of Clostridium difficile, it is possible that rare clones of rifaxin resistant Clostridium can develop. Three characteristics which are associated with higher efficacy of rifaxin in 800 mg suggest that our result is valid. An elevated level of CRP the colonic location, and early stage of disease. In fact, patients with Crohn's colitis are considered to be more susceptible to treatment by antibiotics, and early stage of disease is generally regarded as the more easily treatable form. In our study, rifaximin 800 mg obtained a clinical remission in 76% of the patients with early stage of disease. The CRP elevated level reflects that symptoms are probably related to inflammation and therefore more responsive to antibiotics. In this study, patients with high mean baseline CRP are significantly lower placebo remission rates. We have a registered high placebo response than expected. Study duration is considered the most important predictor of the placebo response. In our study, remission rates were 15, 36, and 43 percent at 4, 8, and 12 weeks. The positive correlation between study duration and placebo is plausible because patients are more likely to enter spontaneous remission over time. In conclusion, rifaximin seems to be effective in inducing remission in patients with active Crohn's disease. But the lack of those response relationship and the higher than expected placebo response suggest that these findings need to be confirmed in pivotal studies. Thanks.